Did you just shoot something? I was examining her tracks. If I hadn't looked up, I'd be dead now. I told you this would happen. Oh gee, thanks Ted. I told you this would happen, and then walks away. Ah. <sighs> Great. <laughs> And the only th the only memento I have for my attempt to save that bear's life is a bloody tracking collar. Bloody because I shot it in the face with a shotgun. God damn it. Poor bear. I need to go through the GPS data. Oh yeah, I guess you'd be able to see like when it left and where it went. Do I, do I just like use it on my computer? Oh, there we go. Proxy track. No. How do I... How do I use it? Laptop with collar. I need to examine the data on the collar. Interesting to see if there's anything left in the fume hood. Ooh, indeed. I need to go back there. Okay, what am I supposed to do here, though? I have it attached, but... No text. Nothing showing up on the proxy track. And there's nothing here. Hmm. Well, let's check the fume hood first, and maybe the... How I deal with this will become apparent later. Okay. Hey, Al, how's it going? The bear we caught yesterday escaped by tearing open the cage and apparently hurt herself badly. What? Can you follow her? I already did. She got a sniff of me before I saw her. She attacked you, and you had to shoot her. I was examining her tracks and lifted my head, and there she was, right in front of me. If I hadn't looked up, what you need to do is calm down a bit. Everything is fine. You found the bastard, that's the most important thing. Take it easy for a while, Rune. She's not a bastard, she's a wounded bear, you dick. Can I actually ask him about his background again? Is it just gonna say the same thing? Uh, tell me about the oil find. I understand you've found a large enough reservoir here to start drilling. Beats me. Determining the field size will take some seismic work. But we know there's some prime stuff down there. Saturation, volume, color, sweet taste, and whatnot. Substantial bonuses heading our way if we can focus on the mission at hand. So, what about the radio? Is it working? Do you think I can use the radio now? It's still powered down, and I think we should keep it that way. The Tempest is raging up there, even now, in the daytime. That could seriously cripple our equipment. I don't think we'd be able to contact anybody. Unless you want to listen to some dork playing ukulele on Radio Waikiki. One time, a few years back, I remember being unable to hear even the carrier wave from Thule while still listening to the Moscow Philharmonic. <laughs> Strange are the ways of upper atmospheric transmissions. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Tell me, what are you doing, Al? What are you working on? Telerix, if that means anything to you. It doesn't. We need to hustle with this thing. Bob's kid is not known for his tactfulness. Ah, I guess we need to have some good information to show the, what is it, the boss's son? Alright, well, I think I've already asked him about these two topics, so it's probably just going to repeat, so end discussion. Alright, let's check what we've got under the fume hood. I see you're making progress with those. Let me know if you find anything. <laughs> you say that like you actually care. You don't. <clears throat> Okay. Well, those are looking a lot better. 
calcination, cleansed femur. Overall morphology is clearly male. Humerus, judging from the size, the individual was an adult. Alright, we have some calcination here. There's some calcination left. Huh. Can I clean that off somehow? Maybe with absinthe! Nope. <laughs> hmm. Deep cut. Deep cut. The hell is that noise? It seems that the bone was butchered in a crude manner. The, mar the marrow has been extracted. Ugh. Was it eaten? That carries some grave implications. There's one person who might know something about these. Would that be... Nova? I can't see who else it would be. I mean, it pretty much has to be Nova, right? Ted's an idiot, Al's all about oil, and she's the micro-paleontologist? Alright, let's go have a chat with her. Where would she be? In her room? Nova, are you in there? No answer. Okay, maybe in the kitchen. Living room? No, in the kitchen? There we go. Everything all right? Yes, just had a lousy night. You're not the only one. The radio woke me up. At least you got some sleep. I've been running those samples for, what, like four hours now? If there's something I can do to help, like pick off the hairier bug legs. Thanks, but those bugs are still microscopic. Is the bear okay? I had to shoot her. Oh no, what happened? I screwed up. I followed her and she attacked me. Are you alright? A little shaken, but I'll be fine. Okay. Let's talk about... Start with the backgrounds, talk about the dreams, and then we'll talk about all the other stuff. From my first day here, I noticed how you take pride in your past. I'm sure your mom taught you that. Not really. She always told me to forget the bygone ages and become a trucker. <laughs> well, really? Seriously, they're giving me an option between commenting on her looks and commenting on her talent. What kind of a douchebag would comment about her looks? Losing you to the logging industry would have been a waste of talent. You should see me driving a Kenworth double trailer up the Wrangell Mountains before you say that. Definitely not for the faint-hearted. Anyway, I learned to take pride in what I am after I moved to Alaska and went to university. Alright, what kind of dreams did she have? Because I'm guessing everyone had some dreams. You don't look like you slept too well. Rough night? No, it's more like personal stuff. Haven't had any strange dreams? Not really. Tully had night terrors last night. Seems pretty shaken. I know. First morning in months, he didn't tell any of his sexist jokes. Hmm. Does she actually not have any dreams? Any nasty dreams? Or is she just hiding something? Hmm, hide in bones. Al thought you might have some insight on those bones and the hide he found. If you mean as an Inuit, not that much. People often have this misconception of our cultural unity, but in reality, there are many different cultures and groups. I'm a Canadian Inupiat. In Greenland, there's the Kala'alit, although the dialect spoken here in the north is Inuktun. It's very close to the Canadian Inuktitut that my mom spoke to me. However, I took some courses on Paleo-Eskimo cultures, so I might be able to tell you something. Okay, I barely understood anything you just said. Uh, 
let's talk about the bones last. Tell me about Euler Jr. You seem to love him. You didn't seem very happy to hear Euler Jr. was coming. We just don't need anyone from management meddling in things right now, especially those who are full of themselves. Oil samples? It's supposed to be a major oil prospect down there? Yes, but Al thinks we need to do a little more work before trumpeting about our find. Well, I guess I'll mention the date. I actually can't remember when it was supposed to be. Is it today? We on for tonight? We are, but I have to zone out for a while first. Okay, it is tonight. Don't worry, I'm gonna make something damn good. Something apparently involving syrup and meringue powder, according to the ingredients that are in the pantry storage room thing. Okay, bones. I found interesting details in the bones I brought. There are knife marks all over them. And the bone marrow has been exposed in one. That's usually done to feast on the juicy innards. Which would mean the Paleo Eskimos were practicing cannibalism. No, I don't think so. Why not? It's known to happen in extreme conditions. Trust me, this is something that I know really well. Cannibalism is a strong cultural taboo for the Inuit. They would not do that. There's some evidence of even older cultures than the Inuit in Greenland. Degenerate hunting cults, very warlike and tightly organized, which doesn't apply to us. Sounds like they could have practiced violent rituals. But as I said, they were not Inuits. According to the myth, they were driven into the sea by old Inuit tribes. I have a couple of articles on the subject. I'll fetch you one. I also have another article about the mythological side. I'll try and find it for you tonight. Okay. Alright, so it looks like these bones might be from people even older than the Inuit. Alright, let's take a look at that article. Articles. Okay. <sighs> let's see if I can pronounce this without dying from the crazy big words. <clears throat> Chapter 7. Anthropophagy. Anthropophagy. I don't even know what that means. As mentioned in the chapter concerning the Cree and the Sayu, cannibalism is culturally an unaccepted behavior within the Equimau. What? I don't know how to pronounce these words. I'm sorry. Some tribes consider it a manifestation of mental illness, some as a sign of possession, by an evil spirit, some of both. It meant transgressing mystical laws and required banishing or killing the perpetrator. Here we will look at the Tunajuk myth underlining the cannibalism taboo. The Greenland Equamau believe in a race of cannibalistic men called the Tuna something inhabiting the web island northeast from the mainland in the ancient times. <clears throat> they were said to hunt down the unwary and to slay them gruesomely. In some versions, these something something were a race of giants. <laughs> A race of giants that were driven to inaccessible mountains in the inland. In others, they were said to be a tribe of primitive wild men, very vile and cruel, who turned evil spirits who turned who turned to evil spirits in their hunger, and went mad with the ravenous desire for more. Ashton, the spirit of solitude, hunger, and gangrene, heard their call, descended upon the tribe, and possessed them. Ashton could not be satisfied. The more human limbs, hands, and feet, they offered it, and more it ate, until the whole tribe was consumed. Then Ashton went back to a remote waste far north, carrying some men with it. While most scholars regard Tunajuk, I'm just gonna go with that, Tunajuk as a myth enforcing the taboo, there were some that believe there existed a tribe of prehistoric men in Webb Island. This is supported by the find of Charles Wild in 1962. Wild was a Wild was a U.S. Army geologist and amateur anthropologist stationed in Thule, who discovered a man-made mound in the island during a fact-finding mission. They were later found to be the remains of an ancient pylon. Hey. Are these the symbols that I see on the hide? What are these? Inuit conversing with... God, this text is, like, just on the verge of being too small to be readable. Inuit conversing with... Sp Spirits Aurorae, the something letters are thought to sim the ancestors and the unturned one's unborn children. Okay, can't really read that all the way because it's too small. 
The Inuit are a race of people with a strong spirit and mind. This is pictured in the symbol of an Inuit individual. His spirit is extending to the sky to be one with the ancestors. Alright, and this is, I guess, some words? Or some symbols that equal words? Good hunting grounds in the West Fells? Good fishing grounds in the sea beyond two mountains? Hmm. Oh, look, and this text is even smaller. The Web Island Pylon Petroglyphs dated... 1000 BC. The importance of these symbols are underlined by enclosing them inside cartouches, or however you pronounce that, not unlike those from ancient Egypt. They can be interpreted as message titles? Looks well, like the first page of a chapter about cannibalism among the, among the Inuit people. Can I actually do something with this? Like left click? Oh, god damn it. Are you kidding me? I could have clicked on that to read it in much bigger text the entire time. Jesus. The more you know. Wow. Okay, much better. Alright. The importance of these symbols are underlined by enclosing them inside cartouches or whatever, not unlike those from ancient Egypt. They can be interpreted as message titles. Okay. Interesting. I don't know if that gives me enough information to actually interpret the symbols, though. Ooh, sugar. I think I am going to be baking something tonight. There's sugar, there's maple syrup, there's meringue powder. Yeah. Alright, so what am I doing now? I need to examine the data on that collar. And this article will surely help with the hide and the bones. Okay, so apparently I do need to do some translation. Do I really have enough information from that one article? I don't feel like I have enough information. Alright, so how do I examine this information? I mean, how... I don't know. Do I, like, have to put the computer down in my room? No, I can't even use it on anything else. I can only use it itself. Weird. Alright, well, let's go back to the bones. Wait a minute. Can I go on her computer? No. Okay. Well... Like, can I... Okay, I can, I can use it. Suggest. What could the uppermost symbol mean? Okay. I'll have to think through this one more time. Alright, let's see if I can match this to what I saw in my notebook. Hold on. I need to actually see this. Alright, so it looks like we have, like, three different tridents, sort of. Uh, this isn't gonna work. No. Oh, shit! Sun rises in the east. This has to mean east. Wow. I better write that down, because I'm gonna forget it. That was kind of an accident. Okay, the only reason I got that is because I was thinking one of these has to indicate direction, right? Something has to indicate west. And so I was thinking, okay, if this is indicating west, and the other symbol is the same as this, but upside down, then it must be indicating east, right? And apparently it does. Okay, I took a look at the walkthrough. Uh, didn't spoil too much, just enough to tell me what the heck I'm missing. And I am indeed missing some things. Okay, this calcification, I can scrape it off. 
and it reveals some more symbols, which I'm guessing are going to help me translate this. Carved symbols. Two symbols, men dancing and feasting. I can't even see them. That's not terribly helpful because I can't actually see them. Hmm. Okay. The walkthrough actually mentioned to do the uh, caller thing first, and it just said go to your room and use the laptop and open up the proxy track program, which I could have sworn I've already done, but let's try it again. Like, do you actually have to be in your room? Why, why would I need to be in my room? Oh, this is a menu! It just... Uh, wow, okay, I thought that was just, like, the title. I never even really looked up there. Okay. Weird. But I can look at the Bergen campus? Map file not found, never mind. It's Katek Plateau slash EPGE. Um... Oh, import. Okay, yeah. Import it. Okay. So. Data point CP1. What is this? It's telling me the latitude and longitude. Where's our camp? What the hell? For some reason, it wandered 20 kilometers to the northwest before turning back. That was a creepy noise. I need to an analyze this more thoroughly later. So wait, is this... CP1 would have to be where we found it, right? So that'd be where we are? Oh yeah, yeah, I, whoops. Yeah, so this is, where it, this is where it started, this is our base, this is where it went, and then it started coming back, and then this is where I found it and shot it. It went a long way. What was it doing, and why did it start coming back? Huh. It's weird that... Hint. It seems to disappear instantly. I need to analyze this more thoroughly later. Okay. Alright, well, let's go back to the symbols. Which I don't feel like I'm any closer to solving. Even though I scraped away the... The calcium... Two symbols, men dancing and feasting. It would sure help if I could actually see them, you know? Hold on, let me just make sure I'm not missing something else. Okay, and we're back. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of cuts for all of that because I spent a hell of a lot of time racking my brain and I knew it would be boring as hell to watch. So, the first two ones I solved honestly, with no help or simple prompting from the walkthrough. But the third one I just used the walkthrough for. The uppermost symbol. Remember I was thinking it looks just like... It looks just like... This, but with more people. I was thinking it's like a group. Just like a group. A group? Do you know what another word for a group is? Tribe. I had the answer all this time. It's just that the game didn't recognize the word that I inputted, even though tribe and group basically mean the same thing. So that's kind of lame, but yeah, it's tribe. Which I already basically knew. It was a group of people that are in a tribe. <sighs> the three human figures symbolize a community, tribe, or clan, or a group. A group. <sighs> 
Anyway. I've got it. East Island Tribe. I already knew that. Thank you. Cartage means ownership or signature. Alright, so that is... Wait. Cartage means... Wow, that just dawned on me. Cartage means ownership or signature. So this is actually made by those people. This is made by the cannibals on, the, what is it, the Web Island? The East Island Tribe? This is from them. These were done by a violent tribe who lived here before the Inuit. Yeah. Just like the myth said. They must have migrated here thousands of years ago from Web Island, which is to the east. Okay. What next? The bear carcass needs to be moved. I'll, I'll borrow these 6x6 six six from Al. Alright, let's talk to him. I need to borrow the 6x6. Six six. The carcass has to be moved. Yes, yes, but not today. It's going to be dark soon. And have you forgotten about a certain young lady awaiting her bomb Alaska? Now? I think I'm too shaken up for that right now. On the contrary, it'll do you good. Get your mind on something else. What is that thing, anyway? Ice cream and frozen berries? Oh, boy. Listen to me, and listen carefully. Bomb Alaska is more than just a dessert. Its roots go back to the French royalty. Making a proper one is no small feat. You need a blowtorch to finish it, to say nothing of the perfect timing involved. Luckily, you are looking at an expert on this, as is attested by my perfect figure. <laughs> I'll scribble down some instructions for you. Uh, and one more thing, you do well if you don't swallow all the things Tully says about Nova. That wannabe womanizer is just a tad jealous. You'll never meet another girl like her, trust me. I've known her for a long time. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. I'm not going to be swallowing anything from Tully. Alright, well, let's talk to him about what I found. Marks in the bones. There are both pictograms and mutilation marks on the bones. Enough to turn this into an academic study. That may very well be the case. But unless you turn that into potential profit, I don't think the company would be very interested. Otherwise, that sounds very interesting. And the Tunajuk. The symbols on the hide are linked to an old tribe, the Tunajuk. Historians seem to consider them to be a legend. Well, what do you know? There are still hidden things in the world. <laughs> well, no shit. What, did you think everything was explored? Who the hell thinks that? Alright, end discussion. Okay, instructions. I've never heard of a bomb Alaska, so let's see what the hell it is. Eli's recipe for bomb Alaska. I would have called it Bombay Alaska, but apparently it's pronounced bomb. Sponge cake, ice cream, meringue, and brandy. <laughs> well, I don't have brandy, but I do have absinthe. <laughs> Probably a bit stronger than brandy. Put the ice cream in the bottom of the bowl and place the sponge cake on top. Okay, let's go grab some stuff. We're gonna make dessert or dinner. This is a dessert, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's got ice cream and sponge cake. Alright, sponge cake. Grab some syrup, I guess. Sure, why not? Ice cream is here. It's empty, but it has a little note on it. Leave this box alone. On the label it says, World's Best Ice Cream, made with a traditional dry ice mixing method. On ingredients, high fructose corn syrup, fine sugar, double cream. Hmm. Holy shit, I'm actually going to be making ice cream. Cool. Although I'm kind of confused. Why does it have both high fructose corn syrup and fine sugar? Wouldn't you have just one or the other? I mean, they're both just sugar. What is dry ice anyway? Frozen carbon dioxide? I guess so. Have I seen... Do we have a, any dry ice around here? I mean, it's not like it has to be made with that method. Extinguisher, do I need... Oh. Am I seriously about to make ice cream using a fire extinguisher? Oh my god. Well, when I made ice cream a week ago, I made it using ice and salt. 
but I guess a fire extinguisher will work too. <sighs> Alright, that should be all for here. I know there's some sugar in the kitchen. Gotta be a bowl as well. What the hell is he doing? I am ready to cook. Yes, this is all you need to cook. You need a bowl. Done. Alright, save the game. Just in case I mess up the ice cream. Irrevocably messed up. Bowl. It's an empty cooking bowl. Alright, let's grab some cream. Yummy. Don't need the milk. Actually, wait a minute. Holy shit, I just realized, if you make ice cream with pure cream, do you realize how rich that's going to be? I think heavy cream has like 30 something percent fat. And um, I don't remember the exact definition of ice cream, but to be ice cream you have to be, what is it? It's like somewhere between 10 and 15 percent milk fat. So, normally you mix like half milk, half heavy cream or something like that. Or maybe just use basically pure half and half. But if you actually used pure heavy cream, that would be like the richest ice cream ever made. That might be disgustingly rich. Better have it in moderation. Alright, sugar. If this is going to work the way I think it is, then this would never work. But, <laughs> let's try it. Sugar. Cream. Hold on, what are the directions? Sponge cake, okay, well I need to make the ice cream before I assemble it, so... Put ice cream in the bottom of the bowl, alright. Need to make the ice cream. Maple syrup? I don't know why I just did that, but I did. And... Spray it? <laughs> what? Continue? What? What do you mean continue? Continue what? It has some ice cream in it. Are you fucking kidding me? No. You, no. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. <laughs> There's multiple problems with what just happened. Let me detail it out for you. Okay. Normally you make ice cream by churning it as it cools, but you don't have to do that. It's probably just going to result in a harder ice cream. However, because the milk fat content is so high, given that it's pure heavy cream, that's probably not going to be an issue, so I guess it would still be creamy, even though it wasn't churned as it was frozen. So, okay, that's not a big deal. However, he just poured sugar in the bowl. As in, like, granulated sugar. And then poured heavy cream on top of it. Didn't mix it, and then froze it. Two problems with that. One, the sugar would be sitting at the bottom and not mixed in with the heavy cream at all. Two, it's granulated sugar. Which means it's not dissolved. To dissolve it, you need to... Either stir the fucking living hell out of it if you kept the heavy cream cold, or you need to heat it up so it melted. What he has now made is a bowl of pure frozen heavy cream, some syrup, and then a big lump of cold granulated sugar. That is not ice cream. That is fucking disgusting. The hell is wrong with him? That is not how you make ice cream. But anyway, <laughs> oh god. I would not eat that. Put ice cream in the bottom of the bowl and place the sponge cake on top. Flip the cake over, I guess it's already done. Put the meringue, oh wait. Oh wait, I need meringue powder, hold on.
Don't you need to, like, whip the meringue powder? I mean, meringue is supposed to be fluffy, and powder is not fluffy. It's powder. So, yeah. Meringue powder? Just add water. Really? D do you not have to whip it? I've never used meringue powder before, but I think you would probably have to whip it. I mean, unless you wanted, like, a meringue paste? Which doesn't really sound like what meringue is all about, because meringue is supposed to be fluffy. It's normally made from beaten egg whites, after all. Alright, add water. Okay. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense at all. Maybe not just yet. Okay, hold on. Place a sponge cake on top, flip the cake over, and cover with meringue. Oh, do I just need to flip it? Flip it over. What are you doing? What? D did you really have to walk over to the faucet to... Oh, you mean invert into a pan. Oh, okay, okay, I get it. Hmm. Yeah, you would have to whip it. There's no other way the meringue powder could possibly... I mean, it's not like self-lifting meringue powder, is it? Wouldn't you have to whip it? I don't know. Alright, some absinthe. <laughs> and done? Is that it? An ice cream cake with meringue on top. Wait, did he actually do it? One dose of alcohol should be enough. Okay, done. Just before serving, pour the, pour the brownie over the... <laughs> pour the brownie. Pour the brandy over the top of the meringue and ignite. Oh, okay. Ignite. Ooh. I get to use my lighter. Boom. Get nice toasted meringue. Sweet. Not bad. Why, thank you. It looks delicious. Of course, in reality, it would be complete shit. Oh, we have a candlelit dinner. Wow, it's cozy in here. What do you think? That looks... Divine. You did good with the flambe. Really? Yes. I haven't seen such a gorgeous serving since Anchorage. Let's taste it. Mmm. Mmm. This is... Mmm. That's disgusting. <laughs> Sorry. This tastes yummy. So it's a score? Touchdown. Whoa. I'd say that Bomb Alaska a la Norway is a glowing success. I think the glowing success was scoring a date in the middle of Greenland. That's not true. Girls grow more desperate out here. So thank you for it. Don't think of it as a gift. I fully expect you to cook something for me, say, next Sunday. I could make you some Eskimo ice cream. I'm not sure if I want to know what's in it. Yes, you do. We actually call it Akatuk. Wild berries with reindeer fat and seal oil. In the old days, the fat of chubby Norwegian explorers was also used. <laughs> Too bad you only have skinny ones around here. Maybe if I gain some weight, you'll consider hanging out with me. Maybe. But before that, I'm kind of curious. Why do you really want to hang out with me? Well, you're my kind of girl. Before I continue, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Well, we have three options here. Only one of which is actually good. There's... Go for the looks. Okay, so I can be a vain douchebag. Go for the intelligence, of course. Or I could tell her I want to take her on the table right now and we'll make sweet love in this meringue pie thing. I'm gonna go with go for the intelligence. As exotic as intelligent. I guess you don't date a lot. What is it? Sounds like a chopper. You! There's a probe in the back. Unload it. 
Gee, Mr. Big Shot, I was kind of sleeping here and... I don't care. Do it now. Where's Shaoman? Euler Jr.? Yes. Great. Oh, hi. Nova, are you all right? Fooly Base has been trying to reach you all day. We're all well. Dad was very worried. I'm in the middle of something here, Alistair. Who are you? Rune Yudsen, a researcher from Norway. I've talked with your father. The polar bear boy. I came here to inspect the oil find. Nova, show me the lab. Shoot. Well, he already seems like a douchebag. Wait a minute, I thought she ate it. She didn't even touch it. It was all lies. <sighs> oh well, let's go. Let's go see the presentation that Al has prepared to appease the boss's son. So there are no base samples taken? You know we need the whole series, Shalman. Haven't had the time. Where's the place? The lower pen marks it. I'll go there myself tomorrow. Good night. You're excused. What a prick. I also want you to present your research to me tomorrow. We need to know how you've spent your time here. Fine, maybe I will. Beautiful Aurora out there. It is beautiful. Although I suspect it's a portent of my death, but we'll see. All right, probably time to go to sleep. Maybe good idea. Might be a good idea to examine that oil find more closely. That's tomorrow morning, though, isn't it? I mean, can I actually examine it somehow right now? Map of Greenland. Glacier map. Ooh. Let's take a look at this. Alright, that's our station. One of these must be the oil find. Oh, test drill site one. Okay. Test drill site two. And the site Owl found yesterday. Wait. Wait. The polar bear CP5 coordinates match almost exactly with site Shaman, or Shaman, Shuman, whatever, the place where Al found the artifacts. That's where the bear went to? The bear went to the place where Al found the artifacts. Why? There has to be a connection between them. I'll find a way to go there tomorrow. Yeah, what could be the connection? Well, those creepy noises tell me that whatever I find, it's not going to be pleasant. Alright, go to bed. Time to get some sleep. Hmm. Actually, wait, is Nova back in her room? I want to say goodnight. Nova. Nova! Do you want to go look at the hide now? I think I'll call it a night. Maybe we should do it tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Will I have more nightmares? Oh yes, I think I will.
god. Just a dream. Wait a minute. Tully! The thing I saw in my last dream actually came true. Um... What? Nova. Oh no. No. I don't want to. Please. Please. Nova! Wake up! I can't. It's too dark. Don't come near me. He'll hear you too. Who? Who'll hear me? Ashton! I saw it before at Nunavut when I was a little girl. I had a high fever. There's nobody here but me. Ashton, that was that... The thing that, what, made them cannibals or consume them or something? I'll have to read the article again, but... Yeah, basically an ancient evil. Right, what are you hearing? Or, tell me about Ashton. Who is Ashton? Everything that is horrible in the Arctic. Death by freezing. Hunger. Loneliness. I have to go. Stay here. Right, is that totally shooting at someone? There's Tolly's tent. He's not in there. Is he outside? He's outside. That came from outside. Can't go out there without my rifle. Okay, let's grab this tranquilizer rifle. I'll load it right away. Good idea. Might need to shoot something. Let me save it first. Tolly. You okay out there? I wanted to come inside, but I drove it back. See? What is it smiling about? I think I might have to tranquilize him. Well, I don't want to tell him to put the gun down because that might aggravate him too much. Take it easy will probably piss him off too, but probably less than telling him to put the gun down, so let's do that. Take it easy. You need to calm down, Tully. You have to do something, Roan. Otherwise, it'll take us all under the ice. What the fuck are you two doing? Get in now! Alistair, something's wrong with Tully. Just calm down. You stay out of this, yogurt weaver. What? I'm not gonna let guys like you screw up the operation here. The beast doesn't give a flying fuck about your oil revenues. It's here with us. Don't you see it? Beast? There's something very wrong here, Alistair. Idiot! This useless shit kicker is clearly psychotic, and you encourage him. You bet it's psychosis. What the hell is a yogurt weaver? How do you weave yogurt? It must be an ancient art. Well, now with this douchebag in the mix, this obviously isn't going to end well. Okay, well, I think calming them down is going to result in nobody being calm, so I'm going to side with Tully, because he's the one that's l the least predictable. Yeah, Tully is right. You're the one in deep shit, Euler. Just another corporate wimp. The creature eats losers like you alive. You're a dead man, Newtson. No, I'll nail you first. Oh, shit. Okay, that did not work. Um... We have to go in. What? I don't even know what that means. We have to go inside the base? Why? What? Alistair will shoot you. Alistair is scared. I, these don't... These dialogue options don't really give me enough information to go off of. I'm not really exactly sure what they mean. Alistair is scared? Wait, Tully. He's scared. I can tell. He won't shoot me. Scared? You're right. He is. I'll pop you both! <laughs> well, I can press Alistair some more. I don't see how that could possibly be a good thing, though. Trying to press him more, given that he has a gun. Tell them to lower weapons. Lower your weapons, both of you! Finally, something sensible coming from you, Newton. Do it, Crane. No! 
Do it now, or you're a dead man. Okay, I'll... Oh shit, sedate him, sedate him. I'm sorry, Tully, but you leave me no choice. Ooh, okay, well, I averted that. Well, it's getting to everyone really bad, so the first day... Or the first night... I had the dream, and... Tully also had it pretty damn bad. And then the second night... I think I had a dream again? Yeah, yeah, I had a dream again. And Tully had it even worse. And Nova had it. So, it's getting worse. It's getting more intense. Alright, well, I think I'm going to be going to the dig site, right? So I might want the crampons. Don't need them. Never mind. Alright, we'll deal with that when we come to it. Where should I go? What have they done with Tully? Is he... He's probably restrained at this point, right? Uh, Nova? Let's see if she's okay. She's a little bit fucked up last night. Nova, are you in there? Nope. Alright, let's go to the kitchen. Or the, you know, the living areas. There we go, there's everyone. What's going on in here? You tell us. You nearly pushed Tully over the edge last night. I didn't have a choice. Yes, you did, and you chose to pander to his delusions. Yeah, because he had a gun, you fucking idiot. Let's talk about the storm. Al, tell us what you told me about the storm. Okay, you know, Rune, what I said about the storm and the spirits? I was speaking metaphorically, of course. Trying to rationalize Tully's mood swings won't do him any good. That is not what you said yesterday. The thing is, this is not my first assignment in the Arctic. I've seen all kinds of bold fellows coming and going, some of them much earlier than they originally intended. Rugged men, too. Look, speaking from experience, I see a dose of isolation paranoia here. A small dose the one that could easily spread over all of us. Now, for the sake of Tully's health, let's keep our heads level. This has gone far enough. Nova's nightmare. Nova, tell us what you saw last night. I'm not sure what you're talking about. You told me there was a spirit worshipped by hunting tribes. You said you had another article. No. I need that article. You're not getting it. It seems that they won't agree with your story, Knudsen. That's because they're afraid. You were the one who nearly pushed Tully over the edge, Alistair. You really don't know how to treat people with respect. Watch it, Knudsen. Or you're gonna do what? Fly me out of here? You know what I really think? I think you're just the type of guy who likes to pretend he knows more than others. But in reality, you are way out of your element here. If it was possible, I'd fly you back to your socialist Sweden, or wherever you came from. <laughs> I know how you can get me out of your sight. Send me to the crevasse. I'll take the additional samples you need. You? On the other hand, I can't spare my real people to get them. Rune? Now wait a minute, Alistair. I, I don't think that's a good idea. I can go. I don't have anything important to do right now. You're needed here to prepare the samples while I do the testing with Nova. Very well. Just don't try to climb down there, and avoid going near the edge. I know how to scale ice. Crevasses are different. They're dangerous even for seasoned climbers. The safest way to collect the samples is to lower a probe down there with a car winch. Once down, it'll automatically take the sample. You'll need all the weather gear you have. The temperature is going to drop very low by night and take your tranquilizer rifle. Shooter. All right, well now I get to have some fun. To get, get to grab all of my gear and go play in the snow. Crab ons.
Let's see, anything else? Do I need my vacuum flask? Nope. Alright, what's the temperature outside? A cold morning? Minus 9 degrees Fahrenheit outside? Damn. 